So we're here guys, um, it's still an hour before everything opens, but of course certain, this is like uh, handicapped people and the VIPs. There's a ton of people downstairs, probably about like three Q halls full, but we are here, we're ready to go. We're gonna do this thing. It's definitely gonna be a lot of fun, but there's gonna be, it's so busy already. So who knows what's gonna happen. Check this out, I'm gonna go downstairs. It's 10 minutes before we open and you see this sea of people. These are all the people that have been waiting hours to get in. They queued them up down here in the queue hall. Unbelievable. Look at this craziness. All right, let's see. We're gonna go and walk around and visit certain places just cause I have a limited amount of time on my break. But this, look at this spy family. This is awesome. There's Viz. Going on, Ben Presto's here. Oh, the One Piece tour is there. You can see Luffy all the way up there. This is nuts. Here's the Marvel booth. Hey, whatnots here, like they were last year. They got a big area. IDW's going on. There's the Marvel. They're back. Look, there's that their live stage again. So I'm gonna check this out. This giant monstrosity. There's Target. Food on a budget. Look at that. All right. So this is a certain morning. We got a lot of stuff going on over in that section. This is before it opens again. This is one of the main entrances here. That's the ADA line that's piling up which is going to be very difficult to get any freebie stuff afterwards uh and then there's the rest of the jacob javits center but of course i need to go down to my crew lounge so i could put my stuff down and get to work the pre-production so Ryan Dwight we, we, we got a box of toys we worked on the uh, box for that so really that cool there's Dante yeah, we we're all talking so this was the other side this is kind of where there see there's crunchy roll other stuff like that um oh there's the show store that's where I used to work last year Big pins here, there's Pop Insider, we got Suko store, there's Tokidoki, Super 7, uh, Summoner of Wars here. So as you guys can see, it's very light in here and 
reason for that is because we haven't opened yet. We're still getting every, everyone's still getting ready. So just figured I'd give you guys a glimpse again behind the scenes of what happens before this whole place goes crazy. There is the Funko booth. This is the back of it though, but they do line up people back here. We haven't seen the front yet, but hopefully we'll see that later. But right now, this is what we're showing. It's what we got. shift right now if I didn't mention it I am at Artist Alley for the Jim Lee signing uh, this is for Friday which is crazy um, right now I'm in the curtain booth where Jim Lee would normally sign but there is a break in between so here is that and some of the stuff that he has for sale but yeah this has been fun just, we're just managing his line making sure everything goes well taking pictures whatnot it's all really cool this is the art print if you got the art experience fan experience for Jim Lee yeah, you never know why not all right guys another morning uh, it's only nine o'clock so they're not open yet but we're gonna get there I'm gonna try to just get on the show floor walk around show you guys again okay all right so you walked in, you got a Yu-Gi-Oh booth here. There's the Bandai Namco booth. We saw Dragon Ball before, but I'm gonna see if I can walk you guys over to other places and show you what's up. There's the, the Gundam base. You can actually grab some Gunpla items. Here's Viz video, cause you know, the 20 year anniversary of Bleach and I'm actually gonna go see that panel today. So, yep, there we go. Some Yu-Gi-Oh tables for some battle dueling. And we're going to go to the left side of the uh, convention show floor to show you what's all here. So there we go. Some more lovely emptiness. Look at this. All these awesome jackets. It's more of the Crunchyroll booth. Very nice. And you can see it spans all the way down there because there's so much going on. Chainsaw Man booth from Crunchyroll. I can, we can go see Ricky at Plunderlings. I was talking to him yesterday. Um, I can see him right now. He's kind of putting stuff out in the light blue shirt. So we'll go say hi. It's a whole other section. My God, so much stuff. Yeah, with the right way, the, the right way to do it, I'll do it. Yep, you definitely will. How many breaking freeze do we have? Uh, more than we have.
to run it to make sure it was working earlier. So I've watched them a bunch of times, okay? And Every time someone asks a question, I'm like, I need mean, some biscuits. I don't know. I, I don't work in that department. Uh, yeah, so they, these have been out since last year. These are just getting. And then we're going like We're still trying to figure out. These aren't final wings. Um, stuff like that. Are we live? Or we're no, we're, live? Oh, we're good. I'm just recording. All right. I got this magical token from our dear friend, Art G. He's a handsome fella. Turn to the right. Oh, I got a big one. What'd you get? I got a, a, a goose, a duck, a goose, pigeon, what? Pigeon, <laughs> pigeon. I don't know animals. A Java sparrow. That's what you would have known. <laughs> they reside in Bainbridge. Thanks, Archie. Yeah, let's see. No, I got two oh, more to go. Oh, oh. These are for the kids. <laughs> up guys so tiring <laughs> all four days and you can hear it in my voice um my voice is still trying to come back um did a lot of talking some yelling but it was a lot of fun uh if you haven't checked out my live stream this past monday uh you could basically get a recap of everything that i did uh for all four days um but Everything that I have here is really just um, everything that I got at New York Comic Con 2022. Uh, they, I, I tried to run around and get as much you know freebie stuff that I normally would, um, but it, one day is not enough uh, because even though I was there for four days, the work schedule had me really busy, and so my one day on Saturday was um, one of the best days I ever had, and I couldn't ask for more really. So I did my best with trying to get coverage, which is very minimal. I, I, I extremely tried my best, but uh, I did what I could. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed what I could, you know, kind of show you. Uh, but regardless, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Uh, but what you're gonna see, um, there's quite a bit. Um, and I showed some of this stuff on my live stream, but here's my Dragon Ball bag. It's a big bag. It's a really big bag and it comes with straps on the back for you to carry around, which definitely did help. And there are quite a few things in here that I could show you um, just because, you know, free swag is always cool stuff. Like the uh, the one the One Piece fan, because they're promoting the new movie. There were like three different, um, three different uh, exhibitor booths for for One Piece, it was crazy. So, like here's a here's a bandana for the One Piece tour. It's crazy. Uh, there's an Ultraman comic at one of the Bandai booths, and the Tamashi Nations uh, catalog guide of everything there. And here is the Den of Geek magazine, which is also your New York Comic Con uh, uh, program guide. So like they have the map here. Look at that. There's a lot. All those little individual squares that represent um, tables, vendor tables, whatnot. And like, oh man, so much stuff. This this was always, it can be a good read if you want to pay attention to it. I got this fanny pack from this uh, Prime video because it was a show that's going to be coming out on Amazon Prime about uh, 3D printing. Something like a like a Terminator type style storyline. I don't know, but yeah, there are 
and they I don't know what it is but they they gave me candy which uh they disguised it as if they 3d printed it so it, it was neat uh they had this whole like storyline going on with that the thing that they did there um but yeah there was there was quite a bit um here's the jim lee print that i got which is autographed uh for working with jim lee all friday uh so it was very cool of him to give me a free print of that um and then there were posters uh, like from viz media bleach oh boy bleach i went to the panel bleach saw the first episode which is now out on hulu or maybe crunchyroll also uh, so you can check that out because Bleach, the new season, Jesus is crazy. Chainsaw Man, same thing on Hulu. This is very bloody, but you know, one of a lot of people's favorites right now. Naruto, things like that. They gave us a lot of stuff. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, more of the One Piece tour catalog, a Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super catalog. Everything you need to know about any of the new products that were going on there. Even Demon Slayer. Look at this. They gave me the they gave the file bags again. So these are always really cool to have around. Um, Scott Snyder's autograph right up there. Scott Snyder. Uh, we have Demons. I think that's what it is. That's one of the newer stories. Which I think that might, it's either Book of Evil of Scott Snyder's or that one that got pitched for a movie deal, I think. Oh, and here's the One Piece bag. Look at that. And it was a one strap right there. So you're able to carry that around. I carried so much stuff around in, in the, the Dragon Ball bag. It was enormous. Uh, what else? So here is my fig pin bag from making a fig pin purchase. Uh, I did purchase the fig pin of Mystique, which is the New York Comic Con exclusive. This was the only one I wanted. Uh, and you can see there, 1500 uh, New York Comic Con. And thanks to Paul Hughes, he got me the uh, Phoenix one. This was the Emerald City Comic Con one, one of 1500 So I'm pretty much caught up with the X-Men Animated Series exclusive. So that's awesome. Uh, I, I still need to pick up Wave 2. Uh, this was my badge crew right there. It definitely pays to work for them so you can get in and get your stuff, um, you know, get your four day pass for free, really. A good smile company, acrylic, got some lanyards and some, some bracelets from Tamashi Nations. And of course, uh, I did buy those, uh, those pins right here these were the mystery bags that you could check out and the pins that i got were these guys right there look how cool that is right these are thick heavy but these are the pins i love this this is cool but just because i started collecting marvel cards with this series series three right here and this is awesome i i love that this the how, how it's all stylized right there um i got a ton of other pins too like the bleach 20th anniversary um some some other thing oh more scott snyder pins right there and webtoon lanyard so many lanyards uh i got a mask from the itoverse which is crazy and the uh, crunchy roll was handing out these uh naruto um uh, bandanas which is it's an actual bandana so that's not bad uh what else do i have missing anything oh one piece keychain for one piece odyssey which is the new game that should be coming out next year uh and then oh this one this was a lovely one right there look at that this was the exclusive for bandai to machinations of broly uh this is awesome i wanted yeah. this version of broly yeah. So, look at that. Really nice. I always love this, like, exclusive edition box. It's got, always has great colors. But there is the Broly. That's what he looks like. So, really cool. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, also met Britt Baker. 
So I got my Supreme figure sign and we had a great conversation uh, just because she, I actually asked her about the figure and they actually do uh, face scans and body scans for their figures. So that's a really like awesome piece of information uh, that I wanted to know about how they, you know, make the figures. Uh, the Marvel store had two comic book exclusives. Here is the J. Scott Campbell and here is the Peach Momoko right there very nice and i also i also ran into david nakayama and he signed oh there's where's the signatures there there there's the signatures right there he signed my hellions uh 18 is that 18 yep of the goblin queen and then inferno number four of moira right there so he signed those for me but i also had him sign my my retro figure right there there he is david nakayama because he did the wave of x-men retro cards that's awesome so happy uh, i was able to get this one signed that's really cool uh and i also got signed this so while i was helping out uh, Dante with the infinity equation with the um, interview that he had so make sure you go and check that video out because I was the cameraman right so that was really cool uh, but I had our Marvel Legends team uh, Dwight Ryan and Dan sign uh, the box which they're pointing at the toe articulation of the box right there so this is cool I will gladly try to put this somewhere where it will be well i guess um and of course one of the things that i came home to one of the packages i came home to i came home to the headless horseman from mythic legions oh my god how cool is that this showed up on friday while i was at new york um so seeing this in person is unbelievable Look at that. Really, really nice. I'm going to do like an unboxing showcase for this so you guys can check that out. Um, I was just happy to be a part of this particular uh, sale. Oh, I forgot another figure. I did pick up Sasuke. I picked up Sasuke at Image Anime. Uh, that is the booth that uh, D Amazing was working at. Those are his friends because D Amazing. Uh, I always meet up with D um, at the at New York Comic Con, so it's always good to see him. Um, but he was doing his thing, and I checked, and he had this in stock, so I bought this from D Amazing. So there you go. Now I have all three of my Naruto figures. I know Kakashi or Kakashi, however you want to pronounce it, he should be coming soon, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, I also did get more mail but i will handle that on a new video because i gotta go on a hunt and look for some stuff but that's it that's my new york comic con but but if you want to hear more about it please go check out the live stream i i talk a lot more of what occurred what happened um there were a couple things that i left out but if you want to hear about that you can definitely hit me up but appreciate it guys thank you so much this was a very long end of the video so thank you for sticking around as always, like, comment, subscribe. Always appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.